Before getting into this video, I just want to make a general comment to the Flat Earthers who come to my channel frequently and post nothing but rude and offensive comments. My question is, what do you think you're achieving? I take no offence to comments like that. They have no effect on me whatsoever. The only thing you are doing is showing the audience that Flat Earthers are rude and offensive people. So it seems there are still many flat earthers struggling with the geometry of the equinox sun angles and they are failing to understand why this is absolute proof that the earth cannot be flat. So let's revise the equinox sun angles. Number one, we have a 090 east sunrise all over the earth. Number two, we have a 270 sunset west all over the earth and point three at local noon the angle of the Sun from vertical equals your latitude the reality is these equinox Sun angles cannot be modeled on a flat earth the entire point of my contest was to give flat earthers the opportunity to prove us wrong to demonstrate with a real model these equinox Sun angles they had three months to do that and they failed. There has been no successful model of a flat earth that explains these equinox sun angles. So to help flat earthers understand the geometry of the equinox sun angles and why they absolutely cannot work on a flat earth and why they prove the globe, I'm going to play two short videos produced by Sly Sparkane using actual observations on previous equinoxes, plotting them on a flat earth, and then comparing that to how it works on a globe. And these videos clearly demonstrate why the geometry does not work on a flat earth. <laughs>
Okay, first let me thank those who participated in this group exercise. Each participant in this experiment performed a simple test, Eratosthenes style. At the sun's highest point at their location on the September equinox, they placed a shadow casting object and measured its height, then measured the shadow length. With those two measurements, you can get the sun's elevation angle above the horizon from that location. With this information, we can determine the shape of the Earth and the distance of the sun from the Earth's surface. This is an azimuthal equidistant map, the favorite among flat earth believers. The flat earth claim is that the sun is approximately 5,000 kilometers above the surface of the earth. This determination is because when viewing the sun on the equinox, which is directly over the equator, from the 45 degree latitude position, the sun is 45 degrees above the horizon. When you couple that with the distance of the observation point to the equator, you get a rough distance of 5,000 kilometers. So geometry would say that the sun's altitude is 5,000 kilometers. Seems pretty simple. With the results of our 23 participants, let's go ahead and examine that. If the close sun claim over a flat plane Earth were factual, then from any latitude, the shadow tests would all point directly at the sun in close proximity to the Earth's surface, and we can determine what the actual altitude is, if they all match up. Let's first mark the latitudes of all those who perform this test. So now, if the flat earth claim were factual, these gray angles are what we should hope to see from all those who did the test. Let's go ahead and view the measurement results from each test.
As you can see, the elevation angles do not conclude a single point where one could say that the sun is located. Well, except for Joshua. His seemed to hit. So Joshua, if you turn flat earther, I totally sort of understand. <laughs> so now I'll remove this target and we'll see what this looks like if we apply all these lines to their latitude locations on a globe. So as you can see, this concludes that all angles are within less than one degree of perpendicular to the Earth's axis, pointing at a vastly distant sun. And if we took all the stick angles, they all point directly to the center of our big round Earth. The conclusion is pretty apparent. Earth is not a flat plane. The sun is not close, as proved here with repeatable experimentation. I would also like to note a complete lack of participation from flat earthers during this experiment. For those who seem to be seeking the truth, you sure don't want to participate in finding it. Y'all have a nice day. Oh my god!